Welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks. Hey, this is Burnbar, and I'm Matt, and that's Alec, and that Mark, and it's Monday, so we got a brand new bottle from Nashville Barrel. Oh yeah, come on now. Welcome back, guys. We got our bottle from Nashville Barrel barrel here. So this is the straight bourbon whiskey. This is the OHLQ select one and this is the cast strength. So you got 59.08%, 118.16 proof. So it's going to be a good one. You feel the heat so, coming already? You be sweating? Or? I got a question. Yeah. So it says OHLQ. Does that mean you can only get that here in Ohio or only can Ohio. you get that anywhere? Nope, just in Ohio. So basically, Ohio goes, they do their tasting there, they pick what they want you guys to taste, they're all of us in Ohio to get, and then they're like, you know what, we got a single barrel program coming out, the bottle's coming out now, you guys can go get it at the store. And this one came out when the Blanton's Gold tickets went out. Oh. So when those came out, they had all these bottles at the bottom that they were like, hey, we have single barrels of this uh, pin hook and this Nashville barrel, and they had a rye Nashville barrel. I think there was like nine of them or ten of them, I could be wrong. Wow. But there was a whole ton of them that wow. came out. And this was one of the ones that I was so lucky enough to pick up, so I was super happy about that. So, I'm hoping that this one's going to be killer. Me, me. Actually, <laughs> me and Jay walked by this at the store, and he's like, man, we have to have that. And I'm like, okay, sweet, let's do it. Cool. There's a couple so, Jeffersons last week, too. What's that? There's a couple Jeffersons, too. There actually, there was. Yeah. There was. I think there was two different ones, too. Mm -hmm. So if you go on the OHLQ website, it's going to tell you which barrel that each of these came from. There's going to be a number on it. It'll tell you exactly what it was. Um... This one doesn't have any actual specific numbers on it, so I'm assuming that this was only like a, I don't know, they must have just had a, uh, well, it's a small batch, so they, this is a blended, or no, this is from a single barrel. Though we specialize in single barrel offerings, we know that too often the right combination of multiple single barrels will produce some of the best small batch whiskey on the planet, and we feel we've done just that. So... I'm hoping that all the barrels that they picked. Is it a single good. barrel then? No, it's multiple single barrels that they mixed into one barrel. So basically it's a blended it's bourbon again. Yeah. Okay so, then. Which is fine. I'm, I'm good with that. You ready? That came full really? circle for me. It wasn't very loud. No. no it better, it better taste louder than that cork. was. Natural yeah. cork though. Yeah. That's true. That's a real cork. Yeah. That's why you didn't get that crazy pop in it. You know why? Because I didn't really get it like super wet. You got to get it wet. Or it just kind of like doesn't give you that natural pop. I'm not, not going to touch that. Touch that I thought he was, and he nope. failed miserably. Nope. Mark, you had one job. You had one job. <laughs> nope. You failed miserably. I Uncle do Doug would be so disappointed in you right now, I but that's all right. I want to get you kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> as long as you're not swearing, we're good. That's just what it is. <laughs> we could beep that out, right? Beep, beep, beep. We could. Beep, I, beep, I have done beep, that before beep, in a couple beep. videos. <laughs> you guys can't be swearing. We can't do that. Ooh, this smells sweet. This one smells really sweet. Mm -hmm. So, almost like a baked sugar and like a fruit aftertaste in it. Like almost like a peach yeah. type of smell there. It's got a nice smell. Mm -hmm. It does. It's either a peach or like a grape almost. There's grape. a fruit flavor a, in I there. I think it's a grape. Yeah. I really? think I smell the grape. That up? Yeah. That's outstanding. And it's after like the, the burnt that. sugar and the burnt brown sugar that's in there. But yeah, there's like a little fruity uh, undertone in there at the end. That wow. smells good. You guys ready? This Jared. is actually decently dark, too, if you yes, see it. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, guys. We're red. All right. Cheers, Cheers to you guys everybody. out there. Oh, damn. That's really good. All right. Uh -huh. So you got a, a light heat in the back. But I'll tell you what. Oh, my God. You know what? This tastes almost like raisin bread in the back. It's like almost like raisin, cinnamon, sugar, and just kicks you with brown sugar going down, but a hot brown sugar. You get that? I get like a sweet, huh? a sweet tea. I get like a raisin kick in there, dude. Raisin? Do you get any sweet tea? Any tea flavor? A to tea? It? Yeah, I, I get, I get, I get, I get a, little, a little tea at the end. Yeah? Yeah. This is super good. Yeah. Jay, you're going to be super happy when you yeah. do to taste this, yeah. bro. Yeah. That's this is really one. good. That's really good. I, and like no hug, no kiss or anything. Just real smooth and everything mm -hmm. goes... I mean, for me, because it gets a little hot in the back of your throat, but that hotness feel? goes away once it gets to your throat and starts going down, and it just yeah. it's not really warm anymore. I'm like, this is really good. I got the sweetness to it. It was a very nice yeah. taste. I just I couldn't pull out of it the the descriptors. Yeah, that, that was good. Oh yeah, that's a good one. What's the price point on that? Do you know? To be honest, I, I want to say it was between fifty-five and sixty-five. That's a, that's I don't a good remember. bottle of bourbon if that's if that's the price point. Yeah, that's a good it is. Bottle. Now, 
don't go to the store and you can go to the store and look for the Ohio Select one and that's what you're going to taste on this one is what we're telling you here but if you do go to the store and you look for another one it may not be exactly what we're tasting here because you may not have the Ohio one that they picked and it may have a different flavor profile all of them have a little different flavor profile let me ask you on that second sip that you guys take did, was it more peppery to me it was a little more peppery on the second one I got the same amount of heat but on the second one it was more almost cinnamon than it was the sugar in the back but it's still the sweetness that's I it, there. I wonder if it was yeah, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still getting sweet. Yeah, it's that. It's it's got like a fruit thing that goes down at the back. That's either yeah, it's got to be like a raisin, a grape, like a almost like a peach type of taste. But you know what though? All right, go back and smell this and watch. I smell tobacco now. It almost smells like a tobacco leaf. What? <laughs> Are you missing this? It I'm smells not, like I'm a not tobacco. Okay, you open the humidor. You're like picking my, out your I cigar. I like my tobacco. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I get like a, a tobacco kick off it now. I think what it did was it op kind of opened my nose up a little bit. Because it is a, it does have that little kick in the back, that little wryness in the back. But this is actually a is super good, good bottle for the good. price point. I, I'm impressed with the bottle. I, I, I kind of get like a different taste each time I'm trying mm -hmm. it. I kind of like it because of that, because yeah. of a different taste on it. it oh, it's it an adventure. This one's really freaking good. I like this. Nashville so, barrel. Nashville Barrel also came out with a single barrel in Ohio um, within the last, well, this video won't be out till July. So, we're going to say about four weeks ago, um, they had an Ohio, an OHLQ Select bottle of rye as well. There was a green label of this. Uh, you will find that one at the store. When I was there, there was like 25 of those, and there was only like three of these. So, I want to say this one at the stores I'm going to sold a lot better than the ryes did, but from what I hear, the ryes are really, really good too. So, I don't know that for sure. I haven't had one myself, but from what I've heard from people that have bought them, they say they're very good, and I'm like, well, there's a lot of them left at the store. I might have to go get one. So, we may have one of those here on a video soon, so that would be super cool. But either way, this bottle, 55, 65 bucks. I don't remember what it was when we were there. Um, very good bottle for what it is. Ohio seems to be doing like some amazing things where they pick out like some of the best stuff that I've ever tasted. It's weird. I agree with even that. Even if it's not an Ohio pick, I'm buying that bottle. Right. Yeah, that's a good Mark one. Mark will have one at his bar here soon, see? And then we're going to taste that difference against this, and I'll bring that over and we'll do a versus yeah, on there it. There you go. Or maybe yeah, we'll yeah. do a live on it and we can do those at the same time because we'll have the same bottle. Yep. I think that'd be super cool that's if we do idea. that. Sounds like a plan. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I hope you guys are having a good Monday out there. Starting your week off super cool with something cool to drink and if you are let us know what it is in the comments because i want to try it too that'd be super cool and make sure while you're doing that if you're not at home you're not drinking and driving be safe do your thing make sure you like share subscribe instagram youtube facebook tiktok all them things these guys we'll see y'all next time have a safe week